Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today I'm going to quickly show you this. So how to tag uh, individual panel, uh, sorry, individual pattern-based family in the MS. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, we're, go uh, we, we're going to start from uh, this uh, project. So and um, in this project, we're going to model in place mass okay so and okay so let's just quickly uh, create a mess okay so let's go to 3d view and let's uh, just adjust some points and then that's it okay so we have a shape <laughs> And then select this surface, divide surface, okay? And then, and we need to create a pattern-based family. So this one, and okay. So we're going to make it very simple, okay? So I'll mod create form, and um, maybe we can make it a slightly more interesting. Um, I'll see if we can do anything to edit profile. So rotate. Um, maybe we can also uh, change the sh uh, shape a little bit. Okay, so okay, so that's it. Finish. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's it. So now load this into the project. Oh, uh, yep. And select this divided surface, divided surface, and go back to here. So under this rectangle, change that to the family. And this will give us a very interesting shape. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe that's not a good idea to. Uh, maybe let's do this. Okay, so edit profile. So I'll just uh, uh, RE scale it. Let's just make it a very small. So it's more, um, yeah, I think this should work better. So load this back over right and then go to 3D view. Um, it's gone. Don't worry. Just click on save and cancel. Go to 3D view. Yep. I think this is better. Okay, so now we need to tag uh, individual uh, family, so individual one. So what we need, so first uh, we we can't we can't do it in 3D views unless we. Uh, I think I'll have a test TG tag. So we need to lock this in 3D views if you want if you wanted to tag. Okay, so three. And you need to lock the view first and then tag. So the issue we have now is we don't have a... So because these family, when we create them, they are a curtain panel family. So we need to have a curtain panel tag. So otherwise, if I use TG, tab, and click, so it will tell us um, we don't have that curtain panel tag. We need to load it. So. Yeah, we can load. Let's have a click. Uh, let's click on yes and go back into our family uh, folder. So it's under. It should be under annotation and a tag. So um, curtain panel should be architecture. Curtain panel. See, that's it. So curtain panel tag, and load this curtain panel tag, and then we can tag the individual panel. So for example, tab click and that's it so it's uh, it's not very clear because it's this is in 3d view and um, although you can add a leader but still not very good you can change this to free and put onto that family but yeah, this is one a way to do it so and you can give and depending on what so let's have a look edit family of uh, this tag, the curtain panel tag. So we need to check the edit label. So it's tagging the type mark. 
Okay, so which means so I think the type mark of this will be the same. So if you select this one, edit the type. So here, so this is a type parameter. So uh, here, where the, here? So for example, I'll just type in A. Okay, so A, click OK, and then all these all these family. So you will see if I, I'll just use um, try this one. Okay, so you a, all these families they are all type A because type mark is a type parameter. And if you change one, you change all. Okay, so what you need to do is just go edit family. So instead of have this one, so go select this label, edit label. So remove this type mark. So just use any of um, those instance parameter. So for example, uh, mark. Okay, so let's let's try this and load this into the project and overwrite. So now this this parameter uh, is link, linked to to this mark. So you will see you can um, you can have a different mark for each um, family, just like the um, door door number or window number. So we usually use mark for um, for that. Uh, tag so okay so now we can just type in a so only this one become a and this one if I type in B it will show B in this tag okay so um, and let's uh, go to floor plan uh, maybe uh, the view range is not uh, high enough maybe just use a side plan instead so let me just change that, change the scale, uh, change the graphic a little bit. Yeah, quite nice. <laughs> Maybe increase the light. Yeah, all good. And now, so in floor plan, so you can tag. And if you do not use tab, you will tag the, in the whole mess. So we'll see this is a mess. And then if you tab, so you will be able to pick individual family okay so and if you don't if you don't have um, the Revit uh, library family library if you don't have this curtain panel tag if you don't have this one don't worry so we can create one so I'll show you how to create one um, so go new family annotation so you normally you, uh, when we, when you start this tag you just have a look here so and see if you can find that um, category so in this uh, scenario we need curtain panel tag but no not here so don't worry you can just you start from this one generic tag okay start from generic tag and open so now you can go to um, family category and parameters so in here you can choose family category so you can change this to curtain panel tag okay and also depending on what family uh, you use so so for for example um, this one is curtain panel but it can also be different type so for example you can go to the edit uh, family change this uh, the category of this family as well okay so for example you can change it to a generic model and load this back and then um, you will find this time if I tag if I try so Revit will tell tell you um, something some tags will be deleted because the change of a category yeah from curtain panel to a generic model so just click OK and TG so now so you will see this time uh, it become it become a, a generic model so we we don't have a generic model tag right so so maybe we can just create one so so this is a tag so maybe we can change this back to a generic model tag so we can 
so I can show you okay so how to create a tag so generic oh sorry not generic annotation so generic model tag click OK so first thing delete this okay so go create label so roughly pick roughly just click on here and then so you can choose a parameter so th these are all the parameter associated to the generic model uh, category okay so um, I'm going to use mark and also if you want to create a new uh, parameter so you, you you will need to create a shared parameter okay shared parameter so shared between this tag and that um, family so you want to tag so they can talk to each other right okay so let's just use the mark and um, yeah all good o unless you wanted to add something <laughs> so click OK and this is it so um, you can actually uh, you can just put some a sample value so for example um, uh, we're going to call them uh, type uh, so maybe type A okay so maybe this is a sample and click OK so you know roughly uh, where the text is uh, maybe just reduce this uh, um, the width of the text and also there's some change edit type so here you can change the size the font so for example I make it smaller change I uh, change the font or you can show border just to create a box so click OK and now we can load this into the project so this is a generic model tag so go to side plan again so tag tg so this time so you will see you can create a tag onto individual um, family right so individual uh, curtain, sorry pattern based family so let's just type uh, tag sum so because we use we use mark so if I tab select one so type in a, a thing a and that's it and if this is B okay or maybe uh, you can also use number 01 and this one is uh, 02 for example and then that's it okay so um, that's it for today uh, if you have any question let's go back to 3d view uh, because because we changed the uh, category so if but we still can tag this time so Revit will automatically use the generic generic model tag instead of that curtain panel tag so curtain panel tags looks uh, slightly different right and that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you. Bye.